Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this quick RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to show and hide images. So I've made an item, we're going to make a couple of common events. This is called the Alchemy Mix Chart, and it's going to just show some amazing, amazing Photoshopage. <laughs> um, so basically, if you press any buttons, up, down, left, or right, or the, inner, uh, or the uh, escape, uh, the back button, it'll get rid of it. And... Uh, Really simple. Press escape. So let me show you how to do that very quickly. So you'll need to make one item in uh, two common events. Let's go to the common events and do that one first. We're going to uh, create a uh, find a new spot and we're going to call it like show picture or show whatever you're going to you want the picture to be named. Uh, we're going to right click insert new, go to tab two, go to the bottom and click on show picture. You're going to assign it a number and uh, in order for this to show up in your uh, images, you're going to have to add it to your pictures folder, your IMG pictures folder. That's really simple to do. Um, I'll show you really quickly. You can go to game and then open folder and you'll see right here you have an IMG folder and you have a pictures folder. So just copy paste your picture in there. Make sure it's a .png file and then it'll show up when you uh, do that uh, show picture thing. So once you've showed the picture, you're going to control switches. Right click, insert new, first tab, control switches. You're going to create a new switch, call this one uh, show picture or something like that. Um, whatever you want to call it really doesn't matter. Um, we're going to turn that on. And then once that on, once that's on, we're going to uh, create a new common event, except this time we're going to change some things at the top here. We're going to select the trigger to, trigger to parallel. <clears throat> we're going to select the switch that we just created and make sure that that is a handler right there. So whenever this switch is on, this parallel process is going to continue to run so after you're showing the picture, it's going to continue to check if you're pressing buttons on each frame. And if you are, it's going to do what's in the contents. In this case, we're going to erase picture. So we're going to right click insert and go to tab two down at the bottom, erase picture. And then you're going to reference the number that you showed. In our case, it was one. So we had erase picture number one. Underneath that, we're going to control the switches that we're using to run this parallel process. And we're going to turn it off because you don't want to have a bunch of parallel processes running if they don't need to be running. You're just going to eat up system resources. So in order to keep our system running clean, and, and uh, use as few resources as possible. We're going to turn that switch off, which will turn off this whole parallel process. So that's it. That's all you got to do. Uh, in order to do this, uh, sh uh, when you press the cancel button, you're going to right click insert new, go to uh, conditional branch, it's under flow control on the first tab, and you're going to go to tab four on that, and you're going to select button. And uh, as long as you don't press, uh, you don't select OK, because if you select OK, then as soon as you press Enter, that same frame that you're hitting the OK button, it's checking, um, it's going to show the picture and erase the picture so fast that you won't even see the picture at all. So this will work for any of these keys. You can even use script calls to program other keys to do this. And eventually Yanfly is going to put out a bind on common event on uh, key pressed uh, plugin. That'll let you do all of them. Um, for now, I would say use the cancel one, the up, down, left, right, and any other ones except for OK. Um, you can also do, um, what is it, input, uh, press, I think it was, uh, there's another one where you can have it set up for, um, uh, as a touch input. If, you want, if you're playing on Android, you can go touch input dot underscore, you have to capitalize that, I, input dot underscore, X and uh, this will make it so that um, whenever you press, uh, whenever you're pressing uh, something that's changing the X axis, uh, it'll do what's in the contents here. So you would just copy paste these two, put those in there. And you, there's another one for um, the Y axis. The only thing you would change is dot underscore Y. So you can do that as well if you'd like to. For my game, I think this will work fine just how it is. I don't plan to play the, uh, have this on Android. Um, I think. I think that touch input would uh, also work for the mouse as well. So you can do that if you'd like to. Um, once that's done, you'll just create our item. Um, you're going to select a new spot, call it whatever, show picture or look at map or whatever you're going to use this for. Uh, I, in my case, I've made it a key item and I've made it not consumable, but it's up to you if you want to make it like uh, when you look at this item, it shows the picture and then it disappears. Or it's up to you. Occasion, I've decided to do always since it's a mix chart. Um, working on a mix skill, there will be an advanced tutorial on that as soon as I can figure out all the bugs that it's, it's, uh, that's happening. Um, but anyway, this uh, item is going to be uh, pretty much basic, like you would do a normal crafting item, except you would do occasion always on this one. Um, and then you're going to do a common event on the effects. So right click, right -click uh, on edit on the traits, 
uh, or effects and then go over to the right hand side on other and select common event and select that common event we created the first common event we created now we're, we're calling on the the show picture not the the remove picture so going back to show picture is the short one where it just shows the picture and it, it uh, turns on the switch and then the hide picture is a conditional statement saying if you're pressing a button remove the picture and turn off the parallel process so that's pretty much it um, thank you guys for watching remember to like favor share and subscribe if you want more content like this um, working on this advanced uh, tutorial for a uh, mix for Final Fantasy X style mix I'll show it to you really quickly it's got a lot of stuff going on um, there's still some bugs that I'm working out and I, I'm uh, working with HemiWorks to get the plugin designed for this so hopefully we can get that uh, working correctly and then we can get into some advanced adventing I'm still having I probably have some trouble getting the, the tutorial down to 30 minutes so hopefully uh, I'll find a good way to do all that once we can uh, work all the bugs out of it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Continue to ask your questions in the comments below. If you have any special suggestions or anything you'd like to see, I will get to it. I read my comments. You guys are important to me. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.